It is review of Apple HomePod Mini. The Apple HomePod Mini is a smaller, cheaper version of the popular Apple HomePod smart speaker, which Apple says is going away. The Apple HomePod is one of the cheapest devices Apple has ever made, at $99, £99, $149 Australian dollars, it's almost affordable for most people, although it faces tough competition from devices that can cost a fraction of that. Look at Amazon's Echo Dot and Google's Nest Mini as its chief rivals. We ran into a lot of trouble with the Ho if you have multiple Apple devices, it works best, but you still have trouble controlling your smart home devices with your voice.homepod when it came to smart voice assistance. Apple devices work best, but it's still tricky to control your smart home devices with your voice. There have been numerous occasions when lights would turn on and off on command, only for a lamp or plug socket to stay on, requiring us to switch it off with another command. A smart speaker becomes frustrating when it doesn't work perfectly every time. If you like using Siri and you have Apple Music, you're good to go. Even though there are some issues, the sound quality is great for its size, and it connects to Apple's smart home well. HomePod Mini costs $99, 99 pounds, 149 Australian dollars when it launches November 16, 2020. The original Apple HomePod was $399, 319 pounds, 499 Australian dollars when it debuted in 2018. With that pricing, it's also straight up competing with the new Amazon Echo, 2020, which costs $99.99 slash pound $89.99 slash 149 Australian dollars, and it's also got a spherical design similar to the HomePod Mini. HomePod Mini setup is super easy, it's by far the simplest for any smart speaker, especially for someone who has never owned one before and is worried about setting it up. Upon removing it from the box and plugging it in, it'll glow at the top. Touch the notification to activate the camera, which you can use to find the swirling light on top. Keep your iPhone close to the HomePod Mini and you'll get a notification asking if you'd like to connect. With its location now known, transferring key information to the device is as simple as tapping, things like the Wi-Fi network are important, as that's how the HomePod Mini communicates with the outside world, and it's nice to not have to dig out the Wi-Fi password again. Your Apple ID will also be synchronized, and you'll be able to choose whether to allow it to just log your info, or to allow it to log other people in your house, in advance. The small sphere rests on a flat surface, and while it's weighty enough not to be easily knocked around, it's nothing like HomePod. Because it's so light, there's no risk that it'll mark up the surface it sits on, like the bigger HomePod. You can get it in gray or white mesh, and the power lead plugs into a USB-C charging cable, that's thankfully included in the box, unlike the iPhone 12. The fact that this charging block retails for $19, £19, 29 Australian dollars means you can actually save money here, since you can use it to fast charge an iPhone too, although you'll have to unplug your HomePod Mini first. Apple should have made the HomePod Mini portable with a built-in battery, like the Sonos Move, but that would have taken away from how compact it is. Easily tucks away around the home, but also looks great placed on a shelf or on top of a cabinet. The sound from the internal driver goes to a speaker at the bottom of the HomePod, where it's fired outward. It is possible to adjust the audio output on the fly for better sound quality in real time, plus there is a full range driver and two passive radiators, which makes for an impressive performance, and results that speak for themselves. All the songs we tested had clear treble frequencies and vocals, punching through bassy tracks with ease, no matter what the genre, the bass wasn't overbearing. Especially for pop songs, the midtones were smooth, and cranking up the volume didn't distort, if anything, it heightened the room-filling effect. Apple should give us the option to control the light on top of the HomePod Mini, it lights up when it's playing music, so it makes sense, but if you're playing rain sounds to help you sleep, or playing waves to simulate the ocean, it's way too bright. Apple's speakers need night mode, so that when you say hey Siri, good night, the HomePod doesn't shriek okay, the scene is set good night, waking the house up and illuminating the room while you're listening to music. More features are available, depending on how integrated you are with the onboard apps. Use Apple Maps to check traffic during your commute, and the default calendar app to find out when your appointments are. You can ask Siri what's up? Gives you news, weather and appointments as a podcast, but we didn't use it much. The voice cadence of Siri has improved in recent months, making it more natural sounding. Google and Amazon are trying to do the same with their assistants, and it makes a big difference. There's still room for improvement with Apple smart home integration. Getting devices to pair with your smart setup isn't too hard, though there's a little bit of work to do, but we were met with what felt like a shrug when we tried to turn them on and off. The HomePod Mini also includes the intercom feature, which allows you to have Siri play announcements on other HomePods in your home using your phone or HomePod.